This is Coyote News. Last Wednesday, we looked into a reported vandalism in Olson Hall related to white supremacy. In the second part of the story, Coyote News' Nathan Finster talks to the Center for Diversity and Community about their plans on dealing with future racism on campus, as well as what you should do if you encounter it. When racist events happen, like the swastika that was drawn on a dryer in Olson Hall last month, many people wonder, what can they do to help? However, Lena Tran, the Intercultural Programming Coordinator for the Center for Diversity and Community, says that free speech must be taken into consideration. I think the beauty of our university and campus is that we really pride on being able to have freedom of speech. But understanding too that within freedom of speech that there are consequences and that those consequences have a big impact on safety, students, livelihoods. Tran says if any racist actions happen to you, to immediately ask for help. There are resources in the Center for Diversity and Community, there are resources at the Office for Diversity, as well as students' rights and responsibilities. Tran also says that the Center for Diversity and Community is willing to start having conversations about this topic. The Center for Diversity is here to serve the USD community and we really pride on the work that we do to, de to be able to develop dialogue and to interact with people from all walks of life. When we put people in, in inclusive environments, safe environments, and brave environments, that growth can really occur. The Center for Diversity and Community is located on the second floor of the MUC if students have questions or concerns on the issue.